All of this is in the city of Guelph, and not very many cities have have like a 400-acre space that's set aside for for nature, and that, that's something that makes Guelph special. Uh, we actually have over 1,700 different types of trees and shrubs here. So, uh, so woody plant collections, there's over 30 of them. So we have things like the maple collection, uh, the oak collection, the rhododendron collection. But uh, those 1,700 makes up species as well as uh, horticultural cultivars, so some of the unique uh, nursery-grown ones such as uh, Armstrong maples and, and, and plants such as that. Uh, the most unique plants, uh, we have uh, some, some uh, old-growth woodlots uh, in the nature reserve, and we have some really big old trees in there, big hemlocks, big yellow birches, big sugar maples. So we're pretty proud of those, uh, but we also have trees from all over the world in our uh, plant collections, so things like uh, bald cypress and, uh, and sweet gums, and also we have a big focus on some of the rare and endangered plants here in Ontario, such as cucumber trees and dwarf chingapen oaks. We have, we have recorded for the Arboretum site, we have almost 200 different species of birds that have been recorded here. And it's because the site is, it's an interesting site because we have a lot of natural areas. So some of the forests we have are old growth forests. They've never been clear cut. So they've been the same since the last glacier was moving through. And that provides habitat for certain bird species, but our collections, actually provide habitat for some species as well. I've known Chris for a number of years, so whenever I can, I will bring birds out to his owl workshops and his hawk workshops in the fall as well. It just adds a nice dimension to the workshop for him to be able to have people see live birds of prey like this. Um, and it's also great public relations for us and have people aware of our center yes, and what yeah, we do. Just a little lineup. So uh, the Arboretum is a pretty special place in being able to provide not just an expansive habitat, but a variety of different habitats that all these different birds and different insects and mammals and things can, can yeah. utilize. So we have a very diverse site from a biology standpoint. And uh, we do attract a lot, of, a lot of people from a recreation standpoint as well. So really popular with runners and, and, and bikes and dog walkers and in, in the winter, cross country skiing and snowshoeing. Uh, so pretty popular on a daily basis, people taking advantage of these trails. I just don't it always seem to go But you don't know what you've got till it's gone